So more leaks and rumors about the NVIDIA GeForce RTX 5090 video card. Supposedly, it is going to be $2,000 US. I think it's going to be probably more than that. Keep in mind, though, that the 1490 was $1,600 US. And I just did a check. Here in Canada, it's $2,700 for a 1490 still. So here in Canada, I suspect you will be paying $3,000 plus for a 5090 video card. That is insane. I don't care on what level you're talking. That's just nuts. But the rumor is $2,000 US, and it is supposed to be released Sometime in January, I think I saw January the 20th. I'm not sure where anyone is coming up with that particular date. But again, everything that I'm saying here pretty much is based on this article, which I will link to in the YouTube description down below. Now, maybe you can justify spending $2,000 US on the 5090 because it has 32 gigabytes of GDDR7 memory, or because it has a 512-bit memory bus and so many CUDA cores, well, you can't even count them. How much faster will it be over the 1490? It should be significantly faster, to be honest. But, <laughs> yeah, well, it comes down to the price again, doesn't it? Because if you can pick up a 1490 for half the cost of a 5090 and i don't really think that's going to happen because you know costs are still very very high on the 4090 and there's a lot riding uh, on this release because people are expecting a heck of a lot out of the 5090 uh, you know and it's supposed to also consume a lot more power so you might need a you know higher wattage power supply for this video card because apparently power consumption on this could be up to 650 watts who knows it's all leaks and rumors and speculation at this point but nonetheless it is very interesting and i can't wait for January or February next year to see how this video card performs.